morning everybody. It's a good day to be alive and well going to work. Let's see what the day brings us today. I hope everybody's having a good day. Productive. Safe. So let's get going. used to watch fishing tournaments five years ago if not more I was like why aren't people doing that you know what are the chances that people aren't doing that putting like egg drop weights or whatever into the fish's mouth to get to get more weight on the fish and then look at this this happened and it's like crazy crazy reaction from every single other uh, fishermen there that's on the tournament because they do uh, they have to pitch in their money into a big pot and then uh, the winner gets all the rest of the money and all of the money and stuff but man that sucks to get caught like that but if, in, in general cheating is you're a cheater you know you play it there you know but uh just my two cents on that one. That's great. If you guys haven't seen it, YouTube it. There's a lot of F-bombs and all the other um, profanity there. <laughs> so I'm here at my pickup and I see this thing. Look at this thing. Someone ran into it with, a, with their truck and just totally destroyed the that's how it's supposed to be. <laughs> nice. And I think they had it. Oh no, they had it painted after it was already broken off. So people would watch their mirrors and stuff. Must have not been the first time it's ever been hit. Just ordered a burrito, breakfast burrito from this place. Man, I freaking love uh, food trucks They're awesome when you're Local driving and somewhere in the street They have a parking spot for a semi truck. You just pull in and order grab something on the go and uh, Keep doing what you're doing. I love it There should be more so I just got word that there is a truck That broke down in the mountains one of our sim transport trucks and I'm gonna be picking it up today and delivering the driver uh, a different truck from our yard so as soon as I get back to the yard I'm gonna start putting on the hook and then heading out into the mountains stay tuned
this is how I get the steering wheel to stay a straight with a strap. Just pulled over. Look at that. That's beautiful. We just pulled over to take check check on our stuff. Good look fine. It's a little low. I gotta bring it up and fix it. Just people behind me probably can't see my turn signals or anything. That looks a lot better. That's Lake Dillon. And there's the town of Dillon over that way. Taking that truck there to a driver that's waiting for me, and I'm picking up his broken truck. And I'm using number 48 today. So that deep sound is pretty annoying. Pulled over, found the truck. Uh, oh, you can't switch. The camera is used. But it's uh, maybe a quarter mile in front of me. Uh, let's see. There's the truck right there. Right there. I parked on the side of the exit so that I can uh, drop the truck that I brought and uh, turn it around and drive it over to him and then I guess back that one up here if it drives. We'll see. We'll see what we can do here.
gonna start. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on. Ah! More cars coming from the exit. Time truck died. Let's see. Okay, so that truck there, that truck doesn't start, and I couldn't get it to move. So now I'm walking back to my truck to bring it over here, and uh, hopefully we can get it started or moved under from underneath the trailer. did was I got these chains put them on these hooks strapped them to the front of the bumper and pulled out the truck underneath the trailer out now I sent the driver to go to the next exit come around take this exit come back around and hook up to the trailer and go back to the go to the yard now all I need to do is figure out how the heck am I going to hook this thing up backwards. So what I got, what I'm doing now is slowly pulling that tr truck. Slowly. 
slowly pulling that truck. Um, I chained it up to the tow, uh, pro tote, and uh, now there's nobody in there. Just pulling it slowly on neutral to get to a safer place where I can turn around and hook up to that truck backwards and do a U-turn or something like that. At least the next exit or something, but hopefully the brakes on that thing, so the air is out of the system and uh, I'm dragging it with the brakes set because the air is out and you can't, you can't start the truck and the brakes are not gonna be, um, you can't release the brakes. But it's going, hasn't started smoking yet. Okay, so the brakes have completely locked up. Just waiting to for this man, this traffic, I swear. Brakes have completely locked up, so I can't keep doing that. goodness guys after some time some struggling we finally finally got her 15 miles down the road pulling her forward and finally strapped her up the right way my goodness this is a one of the craziest ones so far Wow, okay, glad we got that done. All right, let's go. So it's uh, 9.30 in the evening, finally back at the, the base, the terminal. Brought that truck safely back to the yard, and that was a, that was a hard one. I had to drag it from the front 15 miles on the side of the highway like 10 miles an hour because uh, it was standing same direction as uh, I-70 was going and there was no way I could turn around my truck and then turn around it with two lanes um, yeah so that was that was a hard one but got it going you know brought it back so uh like comment subscribe and hope to see you on the next one let's go